mathematical science doesn't appear in most course catalogs for other colleges. But what it is for us basically is trying to prepare students to be crew members on a ship at sea. We study a lot about navigation. We start off with basic piloting and then build into celestial navigation, offshore navigation using celestial bodies. All right, there's Mars. Let's try it. We talk about the physics that support large sailing ship operations, so stability, how the forces uh, interact to keep the ship upright in a strong breeze. Uh, we talk about sail theory, aerodynamics, and hydrodynamics. We study meteorology. Once the ship gets to sea, there's a lot of the practical learning of how a sailing ship operates. They need to learn how the sails work, where the lines are, and they're learning this not only in the deck department, but in the galley, in the engine room, and in the lab. Oh, wonderful. Stand by to jive! Louder than that, Dylan. Stand by to jive! Okay, so if it feels like we're not turning fast enough, what are we gonna do? Uh, what can we do? There you go, you've got this entire brigantine's rig at your disposal. After the first few weeks of the trip, we start to hand over more and more responsibility to the, uh, the junior watch officers. So for each watch, one of the students is assigned to be in charge for that watch, taking the responsibility as the mate. They can't really ask questions anymore, so they have to rely on what the watch has learned so far, learn how to work together, try to problem solve, and uh, come up with solutions themselves. The mate and the scientists are still around for the watch to, uh, to keep a, a safe eye on things. And the JWO is uh, probably the most memorable experience I've for most of the students. Being the junior watch officer was pretty stressful. I didn't really get any warning. All of a sudden, my watch officer said, okay, Dylan, you're in command. You know, talk me through what you're gonna do. And, you know, practice makes perfect at everything. It was the first time doing it, and I still able to remember quite a bit of what needed to be done, but I still had my, my crewmates there to help me, you know, remember all of the small stuff that needs to happen. It was a big bonding experience. I loved it. I can't wait to do it again, even though it was stressful. The leadership of running the watch is, is a huge skill set that they get. The confidence of knowing that you can trust your gut feeling, knowing that you, know, you can rely on yourself for knowing the answer, and also realizing that it's okay to be wrong and to ask questions of the people that you're working with. I think those are invaluable uh, lessons that the JLO gets. Sail training has always been a way of using the tool of a sailing ship, which is a sort of complicated and foreign tool, to teach another skill, which is really teamwork leadership and self-confidence uh, and that's what we're teaching in nautical science through the medium of celestial navigation and sail handling the takeaway skills that people get are the ability to lead a group of their peers the ability to work with people who they don't necessarily get along with and the confidence that comes from seeing a task that seems incredibly challenging and then mastering it